Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today. And thanks for taking a couple minutes out of your day to check this video. Much appreciated out. And if you're one of the half of the people that watch my channel that aren't subscribed, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, doing so, you're really helping the channel out. You're eligible for all the monthly giveaways that we have each month. So that'd be a good deal too. And today I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to continue the series that I'm doing on jerk baits. You know, we, we uh, started uh, last week uh, with the foundation on a jerk bait. I'm going to be doing a ton of jerk bait videos, a lot to cover here over the next month because we're getting in jerk bait season. Today, I'm going to show you guys how and when, or talk about how and when to fish a deep diving jerk bait, which is a different category of jerk bait. A lot, it's a lot different than a traditional jerk bait. And I promise you guys, I'm going to start getting out on more on the water here. Just been really busy getting caught up from the tournaments that I'm planning on getting back out on the water here and uh, doing some on the water stuff coming, <coughs> excuse me, coming up here over the next month or so. Real quick, before we get started into the video, just wanted to remind you guys, if y'all are interested in going out on the water with me for an on the water lesson with a jerk bait, Table Rock Lake, Stockton Lake around here, just shoot me a message on my Facebook page, Randy Block, a professional angler or my Instagram page, Block at Randy, and I'll give you all the details uh, about those trips. Okay, let's talk about deep diving jerk baits here. Deep diving jerk baits are what I started out with, with a jerk bait. It used to be, back in the day, back 50 years ago, 45 years ago, uh, when we started fishing jerk baits, there were two types of jerk baits. There were like the, the Rapala Minnow, you know, just the balsa of Rapala Minnow. And then there was like the, the uh, Spoonbill Rebels, the deep diving ones. And that's, and they, it stood the test of time. But what, what the deal is, is the diving jerk bait is completely different than a traditional jerk bait, like the Avision 110. You know, here's the one we're going to talk about today. This is the Mega Bass 110 plus two. It's a deep diving jerk bait. It's got a, a, a bigger bill on it. And, uh, I'll, uh, let me, I'm sort of unprepared here. Let me get you guys out a traditional lip and I'll sort of show you guys the difference on this. But the thing that's different about the deep diving jerk bait versus the regular lip is not only the depth that it attains, but also the action that you have. You have a different action. So here we got two different lip designs here. You can see this is this, this is the exact same bait. This is the Mega Bass 110 uh, profile body with just two different lips on it. You can see there. there this is the 110 lip here. This bait will run about, you know, probably six, seven foot deep on six to eight pound test long on a long cast. And the Mega Bass Vision 110 plus two, this thing is gonna be knocking it 12 to 15 feet if you use it on eight pound test line on a long cast. So the times here, guys, is when you want a deeper jerk bait, there's two, there's really, there's two different scenarios to it. The first one is the obvious where you want the bait to go deeper. The second one is when you want the bait to reach the same depth as their traditional jerk bait, but you want to use heavier line. A lot of guys out there don't like to fish a, spin, a spinning rod with their jerk baits. You guys know I fish spinning rods. I even fish spinning rods with the deep diving jerk bait. If you're one of those guys that like to fish um, a bait caster with like 10 to 12 pound test line on it, um, you can get the same depth attainment by using a deeper lip jerk bait as you can with the regular lip on lighter line. The problem though that you have with that is you have a different type of an action. So, and I wanna talk a little bit about this before I talk about how to fish it, but when you're talking about a um, traditional jerk bait lip on there, when you jerk this thing, you have a lot harder side to side darting action like that on a hard jerk. But when you fish the 110 plus two or a deep diving jerk bait, when you jerk it, that bait wants to tend to go down more. It'll go down, it'll jerk a little bit, it'll go as it goes down. So the difference in here is when you jerk the tr traditional lip, you've got more of a horizontal action. And when you jerk the deep dive one, it's horizontal, but it's going down at the same time. Now, depending upon a lot of different factors, this can be a positive or a negative. If you're fishing uh, a steeper bank, and this is when I use like the 110 plus twos, this is when I use them. By the way, I'm, I'll include the Baitworks link in the description here. They got full line of Mega Bass jerk baits. If you'll use the link in the description, it's a good way to help the channel out here. Quick plug there. 
So anyway, the time that I use the, the deep dive and jerk baits, I don't ever use these out like over flats or points and that type of stuff. If I'm fishing like steep banks, like steep 45 degree angle banks, where I'm making a 45 degree angle cast to the bank and I need that bait to get down quick because of the angle of the bank, that is the only time that I really use a deep dive and jerk bait is to, tra just to track the angle of the bank. Sometimes, depending upon how the fish are positioned on a lake, you need to make a straight in cast to it or 45 degree angle cast, or you need to cast parallel. Because a lot of times, let's say for example, if I'm fishing out on a main lake flat, I'll cast straight into the bank. And then if I'm fishing a super steep, like a bluff bank, almost like a vertical drop, a lot of times I'll fish parallel to the bank. But if I'm fishing a bank that has a fairly a sharp slope, like a 45 degree angle rocky bank, I'll throw it at a 45 degree angle, use this deep lip bait, because it gets me down into that strike zone where it needs to be better than any other uh, model of jerk bait that you can have here. The key on a jerk bait like this is you always want to keep the bait above the fish. Now, a lot of people think that, okay, I need to get the bait down to where the fish are at. But what you want on a jerk bait is you always want to keep this thing up over their head. So if you're fishing a traditional jerk bait that like the 110 that will get down, you know, six, seven feet deep, I like to throw this thing a lot of times over 10 to 15 feet of water because the, the fish that are on the bottom will come up and get this thing off the bottom but like on the deep lip one, you can throw this thing, not only on the steeper banks like I'm talking about, but if you get out off the really deep point ends, like the, like if you're out there in 30 to 40 foot of water and you have a lake, maybe like Lake Lanier in Georgia or, uh, you know, Table Rock Lake or, you know, some of the lakes that have uh, deep suspend, deep submerged timber, you can actually pull fish out of 30 to foot of 40 foot of water on a deep lip jerk bait. If I get this bait down 15 feet and it's got the, you know, you get out the, the balancers and the rattle chambers, it's got the hooks clanking against it, it'll pull a fish out of 40 or 50 feet of water easy to hit it. I mean, that's nothing, it's nothing for a fish to be sitting on the bottom in 40 foot of water and they see this jerk bait coming in and it's 15 feet deep. It's nothing for them to swim up there, you know, 15 to 25 feet that literally takes them two seconds to get there to get the bait. You'll find in jerkbait fishing, even in the deep lip models, that you will catch more fish if you try to fish over the top of the, of the fish for the most part. Now there are situations where they'll hit it horizontally, um, but I found out that that's the way to really generate a lot of strikes is to keep them above the bait. Same with crappie fishing. If you guys are crappie fish more, you always catch more crappie if you fish above the crappie than right in them, that type of thing. Okay, so that's the situation. Next thing, let's talk about working this thing. The difference between working a 110 regular lip and the deep lips like that is the what I'm trying to accomplish out of them. When I am fishing a deep lip, lip jerk bait, I'm trying to get deep with the thing. So I've got to, to alter my retrieve a little bit. When I'm fishing a 110, a lot of times I'm not concerned about the thing getting super deep. I'm trying to draw strikes from a wide range of depth and angles. But when I'm fishing the deep lip, I'm trying to pull those fish up. So the difference is, is if I'm, if I'm fishing, you know, my 110 out there, I'm a spinning rod and I'm jerking it like that, pause, jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. That's how I fish the regular ones. But if I'm fishing a, a deep lip bait, I'll throw it out there, I'll reel it down. I may jerk it a couple times to get it to the maximum depth. And here's the difference. Once that bait gets to what you think is the maximum depth, that's when I keep my rod tip low and I'll pull it. And I'll take up the slack a little bit and I'll pull it, maybe pop it a couple times. But that casting out there and pulling it like that, it allows this bait, when you pull it, it goes like that and it stops. Like that and it stops. And that's the, the triggering mechanism on a deep lip, deep lip jerk bait that you can't duplicate with another one. So one of the things you want to try to avoid is if you decide to fish with a deep lip jerk bait is get away from that traditional jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause with it and go with more of a pull and twitch, pull and twitch like that. 
a lot of times that will really trigger a lot more fish to hit it. This is especially good, this technique that I'm talking about when the water temperatures are say 40 to in the upper 40s. You know, in the 40 degree range is when this, work, is when this works really good. Um, but like I said, it's just another tool for your fishing. Um, to understand this thing is when you really want to maximize it. I'm going to guess in the course of a time, of a year's time, I only use the, the deep lips like this, I'm going to say maybe 10% of the time. And the only time that I do use it, there's two situations. I use it when I think the fish are really deep or if I need to get down quick on a steep angled bank or if I'm fishing over the tops of some deeper submerged grass. I, I've done good, for example, like down at Toledo Bend on the lower end of the lake because at Toledo Bend there used to be you know, hydrilla growing in 12, 14 foot of water. And in the winter time, it would only be a couple feet off the, 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 the bottom. So I've taken deep lip jerk baits and gotten them down over 10 foot deep in that deep grass and caught some really big ones down there doing that. So anyway, guys, it's just another arsenal here. Um, like I said, shallow lip, deep lip, they get, there's a place for them in your tackle box, both of them. Understand uh, how to work them, understand, you know, what they do and what they're not supposed to do. And that'll just add up to a lot more fish with you guys on there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the tip. Appreciate it. We'll be back with a ton more. Got a, just uh, got probably 20, 25 more videos I'm going to do on jerk baits between now and over the next month and a half or so. And let me know, guys. Shoot me some comments. Let, you know, let me know what you think of it. If I can answer any questions, shoot me a comment and a question. I'll try to get to it. And also, one thing I want to remind you guys, you may have saw the video I did earlier today. Tonight, Johnny and I, we have our weekly live podcast on Fish the Moment Live. I'm going to debate John Sukup uh, of the Bass Tank on the virtues of old school technology versus his percent or his uh, viewpoint on uh, live scope and high tech stuff. You know, he runs the Bass Tank, which is one of the top electronic rigging uh, companies in the, in the United States. He's done really good with live scope, and we're going to have a little little debate tonight on it. So I hope you join us tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Fish the Moment Live. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll talk later. Too.